What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Black Desert and we have the Xbox portion of what is up. Uh, there should be different notes tomorrow for PlayStation, which I will cover those again tomorrow for you guys. If there aren't anything for PlayStation tomorrow, any different than Xbox, you won't see a video and just come back and assume this as the PlayStation updates. Uh, because PlayStation maintenance is running again tonight. Uh, don't know why. I'm assuming they're probably going to get Camus Sylvia and uh, Konoichi at the same time, but not entirely sure about that, but we'll see. So, here we go. Let's hop into this. We're going to start with the message in a bottle. That was a day earlier. This is an Xbox exclusive. Like I said, it's an event uh, for Valentine's Day. It will run from the 5th until the 25th. Um, I'm just going to do the days. Screw the times because then i gotta list out a bunch of time so <laughs> out with the winter season and in with the season of love uh the residents of black desert world finally rid of the haunting christmas music have decided to celebrate by dressing up the towns with valentine's day decorations be sure to check them out i like that they kind of made a joke about having the christmas music in too long because like half of the replies on twitter were asking them to please get rid of it so Event number two, message in a bottle. How many bottles are there? There seems to be a sudden influx of bottles in the waters of Black Desert. What's more is that these bottles seem to have more valuable things inside. Be sure to fish for these, bot or, yeah, these bottles and find the rewards that are inside. This runs from February 5th to March 4th. So a little bit longer than the uh, decorated towns event. So fish during the event period for a chance to get a event message in a bottle, open the event message in a bottle, get an item that can be sold to shops or used for NPC quests or monster quests. So here are all the items. Uh, so these are the sellable items ranging from a hundred thousand to 2.5 million, uh, assuming getting more difficult as you go up. Uh, I'm assuming love letter between kids is going to be super common and then the other ones you'll find sparingly. Uh, but that's actually not too bad of value. NPC quest items. Um, there are a decent chunk of these. And they give anywhere from 300 contribution XP to 800. Most are 300. There's a couple 4s, a couple 5, or 1 5 and 1 8. Uh, and then monster quest items. There is 5 of these. And they're all just for 2 memory fragments. So every quest can be completed once per family every day. So that would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 different quests that you can do every day. So that's a lot. Uh, the items used to access the quests cannot be recovered, restored, forfeited the event quest. Pretty much any, all the normal terms and conditions and rules. So... Let's move on. Next we have, let's see, Unforgettable Summer. So I'm not going to read all of this, but I will leave a link, obviously, like I always do, to this page. It's this one right here, Unforgettable Summer. If you want to click on that and read this, this is the lore and backstory uh, for the Konoichi uh, Awakening. So moving on, we have known issues that they fixed. So the known issues that they fixed... These are new ones, and these are fixed ones. So we'll go over the fixed ones first. So there was an issue where items were transported before the recent update are not uh, being displayed. These items are still there. However, they are currently inaccessible. Uh, there is an issue where the tool tip for Let's Make Moon Rice Cakes event ingredients incorrectly state that they should be arranged in an eye shape in order to combine these items you will need to make an, a dash shape uh there is an issue where parts of rosa or yeah rosa de sharon and arctic fang outfit tool tips are displayed in english if the game language is set to spanish uh there is known issues where through a specific set of conditions wizards are locked into a pose okay so that's all the stuff that they fixed in the most recent update here are all the new things that they found that are issues so there's an issue when where when the network is unstable the ui will not be displayed correctly there's an issue where you cannot check the effects and durations of the gold bar exchange buffs in certain churches there's an issue where minigame UI and the buff icon overlap. There is an issue where unusual light effect appear when HDR mode is activated. There is an issue where the following skills for ninja do not apply stealth when holding left stick forward, shuriken, moon dive, and ninjutsu. Oni shadow for Shy's misty haze skill. There is an abnormal effect or 
uh, found temporarily blocked. We are aware of the issue where the NPC Marion Pero, the Connoisseur of Calfian, is missing. This issue will be resolved after the next regular maintenance. Uh, there is an issue where the chat window displays family name instead of character name, disabling whispers and party invites with other users. There is an issue where the NPC shop window does not automatically refresh when items are sold at the bottom of the list. There is an issue where in certain languages word wrapping does not work as intended, causing certain UI elements to overlap. There is an issue with the quest Where is the Last Glass Shard, where one NPCs are not one of the NPCs are not spawning, making the quest impossible to complete. There is a known issue where the German version of Mystic Crown Eagle series tooltips format is different from other items. There is a known issue where the Chinese version of the event value pack seven days displays the wrong duration of the item in the tooltip. Uh, we are aware of the issue where the quest NPC for the leader of the Ahib is in an abnormal location, make it unable to complete the quest, and we are aware of the issue where you are unable to continuously process items that cannot be stacked in the same inventory slot. This issue will be resolved during the next scheduled maintenance. So, at least two of the issues will be fixed in the next maintenance, which will be next week, I would assume. And then the rest of these, I assume they'll take care of as they come, but those are new issues. Nothing too game breaking both of the quests that you can't complete i don't believe are main story quests at all so no harm no foul so yeah a lot of things that they need to fix but nothing major so moving on uh we have the patch notes the good old patch notes which is really what this video is about um for two five so, the latest Black Desert Xbox update is here and brings along a way to Konoichi Awakening, the new secret uh, Book of Old Moon, and the removal of Christmas music from the world of Black Desert. Find out what else is coming in the update. Um, I will have Konoichi Awakening later today, probably. So, this will probably go up around 1 in the afternoon. Uh, Konoichi Awakening will probably go up tonight around 9 or 10 p.m. Eastern. If you're interested, come back, check it out. I'll have a video up. Uh, we'll probably just do what I normally do. And then uh, when Konoichi comes out on PlayStation, I'll probably do a little bit more detailed stuff over there. Um, so the Sha Chakram carries the weight of painful memories, yet the Konoichi channels that pain into an unstoppable rage with her awakening. The elegant round blade of the Sha Chakram is as beautiful as it is deadly. Discover more in the Konoichi GM notes here. So I'll pop this open real quick. So this is just the... Just to show you guys, this is the GM notes. This is pretty much just the backstory, and uh, it explains a little bit, but it's mostly just backstory for Konoichi. So, book changes. So, as mentioned in an earlier GM note, we are combining the Seal Book of Combat, Armstrong Skilled Guide, and the Cliff Skill Add-on Guide into one item, the Secret Book of Old Moon. Uh, combines these items together and adds a few extra bonuses to help adventurers on their path to greatness. So, the Secret Book of Old Moon provides the following benefits. I already went over these, but I'll go over them again in case you did not see them before. So, it's Combat XP plus 100%, Skill XP plus 50%, Life XP plus 50%, Reset Skills Freely, Change Skill Add-ons Freely, Use via Villa Buff via your campsite without having a Villa Invitation, Stable slot plus one for all regions, and Wharf slot plus one for all regions. Uh, so these are uh, frequently asked questions about it. Does the Secret Book of Old Moon stack with other buffs? Yes, all current XP buffs will stack with the Secret Book of Moon. Additionally, the Secret Book of Old Moon will stack with any remaining Sealed Book of Combats that you have. What happens with items such as Armstrong Skill Guide or Cliff's uh, Skill Add-on Guide? If I activate them at the same time, although they can be activated at the same time, their effects will not provide anything extra for you to use. It will not increase the duration or provide other effects. Therefore, we strongly recommend not using Armstrong Skill Guides or Cliff Skill Add-on Guide in conjunction with the Secret Book of Old Moon. Uh, can I use my uh, Secret Book of Old Moon with a value pack? Yes, you can use these items together. Blessing of Camasilve changes. So as well as the new item, the Secret Book of Old Moon, we are also improving the Blessing of Camasilve item to contain more bonuses. Uh, so this is what it now provides as benefits. Energy recovery plus 2, drop rate plus 20%, central market warehouse capacity plus 2,000, transaction made volume limit plus 100, and storage transport weight limit plus 1,500. 
Changing of seasons, the cold grasp of Christmas music has been lifted and spring is on its way to black desert. Snow has also been removed and the world will not look white anymore. System changes, artisan memory and event artisan's memory have been modified. They will now provide times five the restoration effect of max durability instead of times four. Monster changes, around 40% of all monsters in the black desert world have been removed and the monsters that survive this culling will respond twice as fast. The changes is intended to improve performance of Black Desert, and we will be monitoring the changes incredibly close. I personally have not had any performance issues on Xbox. Now, I got on PlayStation yesterday to test out some stuff before I played Konoichi on Thursday on there, and it was a little bit rough, a little rough, but I will say it wasn't terrible. So I'm not quite sure why they did this, but if someone knows more than I do, uh, let me know. Uh, dev notes, we have been working on providing a much more refined gameplay experience for venture, adventurers, which means striving for more optimization. This patch, we are modifying hunting grounds, aka grind spots, so that overall there are less spawn monsters to counteract the absence of certain packs. We are greatly increasing the spawn rates of monsters that survive, which result in similar character growth and profits. Uh, Mimur, M Miramok? Ruins and Giffen Rizia Temple have been untouched by these changes as they are party spots. Item changes. The Black Abyssal weapon uh, obtained from completing the boss, the Overlord, in Omar Lava Cave has been changed so that it can be used immediately after it has been collected. Once obtained, the item can be exchanged for a, blast a Black Abyssal weapon box by taking... Or oh my gosh, can I read? By talking to Abdul Jaum. Uh, the skill instructor from Altanova. He will give you the materials needed to turn the Black Abyssal weapon back into a box. Uh, adjustments have been made to the upper limits of the following items on the central market. Memory Fragment, uh, Ancient Magic Crystal Crimson Flame Power, Red Battlefield Crystal Power, Black Magic Crystal Cabalinus, Black Magic Crystal Hist Histria, <laughs> Black Magic Crystal Carme, Forest Path Weapon Wagon Wheel, forest, all the foreign Forest Path Wagon stuff, Ayin Main Hand Weapons, Enhancers, and Reducers. So this change will not instantly up the, up the prices of these items, but will allow them to rise in value if the market conditions allow. The totem system for fishing boats has finally been added. Totems gain EXP as you catch certain types of fish. It will grant bonuses depending on the grade of the totem. This includes mount speed, weight limit, and more. You can purchase these from the wharf managers across Black Desert. And as they level up uh, from the AXP from fishing, you can enhance them with black stones to make them better. Uh, they have also added five new um, areas to Marnie stones, totaling ten new stones. So you can see all of them there. Uh, all pretty late game items. Well, kind of. Some of them are a little bit not as late as others. But late game, Marnie stones, pretty much. We removed the ability to exchange high-quality wine for energy recovery items. We also be removing high-quality wine from the game. The hidden interaction was designed back when Black Desert originally launched. And as economy progressed, it became an easy way to refill your energy for a very small amount of silver. This decision to remove this exchange was a difficult one since the interaction was incredibly popular with people who do life skilling. But with more and more people taking advantage of life skilling, it was important for us to protect the value of gathered items. This change will hopefully protect these items uh, from decreasing further. High quality wine will be removed and users who have this item on their account will be compensated with 200,000 silver per bottle of wine, which will be sent to their mail. Quest changes. A new branch has been added to the Balanos Quest storyline. After talking to Grusha, you'll be able to choose between Goblins at the Ruins Crossroads, About Goblins, and, and the Untold Truth About Gaieth. This new crossroad will explain the origins of Gaieth and will feature new quest dialogue and knowledge. Sweet. Uh, other quest changes. Altar of Blood has been modified. When starting at levels above 1, you will need to have knowledge of both the level you wish to start and the previous level too. Rewards have been added to the following quest, uh, the Source of Corruption, the Birthplace of the Witch questline, Ancient Magic Crystal Flame, Power, so you get two of those now uh, at different points. So, general character changes, we are making a few changes to the Wizard class and a small fix to the Mystic. There, there, there are also various fixes for character costumes that are not listed here due to their minor improvements. So, you can see... 
Wizard, Witch, and Mystic are the ones that got changed. So let's get into this. Aqua Jail Explosion and Flow Arnie's Stream now have a down attack effect. Casting speed of Aqua Jail uh, Explosion has been increased. Slow movement speed effect added to Aqua Jail Explosion. The effect of Aqua Jail Explosion will now match the skill speed of the skill. Increased damage for Flow Arnie's Guidance, 701% before, 890% after, so that's a big increase. Uh, change the range of the Cataclysm and Black Spirit Cataclysm to the max range for all hits to damage equally. Hellfire now has a forward guard effect. Hold X while using Hellfire will now maintain its charge. Increased trigger speed of Flame Knot after the use of Hellfire. Uh, fixed an issue in PvP where the damage for Flow Fire Fist Marge was applied to the skill Flow Fire Breath Marge. Remove the... Uh, forward guard effect of chilling wave fix an issue where the pvt reduction text was missing from the folly skills okay so big changes to um wizard uh interesting have not played wizard like i said i plan to play through all the characters get them all to 56 play around with their awakenings at some point so at some point i will i will get wizard to 56 and mess around with him but just haven't done it yet so Witch, uh, here's the stuff they fixed with Witch. Fix an issue where the reduced PvP damage modifier was not showing on the following skills. So Flow Gore Roll, Flow Gore Launch, Flow Voltaic Tet, and Flow Rage Tet. Mystic, fix an issue where Air Slash was applied to all combo hurricane hits. Fix an issue where the last hit uh, for Rapid Stream 4 uh, caused knockdown instead of floating. Interesting. And then we're down to kind of just minimal changes so we got ui changes in the enhancement window you can now place items in the window even if you do not have mere tutorials to enhance them or the max durability is too low this will allow you to check any enhancement related things with the items that's nice uh the processing window has now been improved so that it will now remember your last selected processing option this will only apply to the last selected option in your current play session uh the following ui has been updated pets list and campsite user interface uh, you will now be able to process items that are currently slotted with magical crystals. Awesome. Uh, and then other changes. Imperial trade NPCs have been added to all channels. Uh, fix an issue where underwear set bonus did not work properly or correctly when a pearl item expired. Fix an issue when desert sickness was applied to in Pila Ku Jail. Uh, fix an issue where enhancements could not be performed again after selecting no as a warning menu pops up. Fix an issue where the warehouse would become unstable if you first open the transport window. Fix an issue where certain goblin workers could not be registered on the market. Camera effects have been removed from the archer when performing combat skill training on scarecrows. And fix an issue where knowledge could be could not be obtained from certain NPCs even when the conditions had been met. So that is a quite the long patch notes for this week. Um... If you would like, obviously, link to this page will be in the description. As always, you can go through and look at them again. And obviously, it's the patch notes right there. So moving on, my favorite part of these videos is the Pearl Shops updates. I love, you know, looking at different Pearl Shop stuff. And so, yeah, we're going to take a look at that. You can see the highlights up there at the top in the picture form. So let's get right into this. Adventures, the following items were added to the Pearl Shop. February 5th, 2020, new products, items purchased with pearls can be found in your pearl inventory. Depending on the item, you can list them up on the marketplace. So sale, inventory expansion, 20% off. So inventory expansion plus 16, these are all 20% off, essentially, all the inventory expansion items. So not going to really go into too deep a detail, uh, and they'll be on sale until February 12th. So, or, well, February 11th at midnight Pacific time, okay, so... On sale for about a week. Artisan memory and memory fragment items will be on sale. They are 80% off, so they are 10, uh, which is limited one per day. So that gives you about six of them. Uh, Konoichi Classic Plus Premium Pack. So this gets you a classic, the Konoichi Sicarios Classic Set and the IO Premium Set combined for 5,040 pearls, 20% off. You can buy three of those per family. Um, Kodoichi Awakening Pack, you can get this for 5880 instead of 7350 and this is available as well as the Classic Press Premium Pack, uh, till February 18th, 
So you get the AO premium, 16 expansion coupon, blessing of Camasilve, and secret book of Old Moon, both 15 days. Extra combat and skill XP scrolls, five of each. Merv's palette for one day, and Merv's palette 10% discount, one per family. Secret book of Old Moon, 15 plus seven days. So I'm guessing the normal price is 1250 for 15 days, but for the event you'll get a seven days as well. So you'll pay for 15 days and you'll get 22 essentially making this 66% off the normal price. Limit three per family. Ribbon Cat, this is a new cat, so it picks up every 10 seconds and find resources. Item pickup frequency can grow to every four seconds. Resource detection range increased up to 34 every 10 seconds. Uh, type, it's limited. Only the pets of the same type can be exchanged. Talent, cat, life XP boost, and shared between family, obviously. So there is the new pet, cute little cat like the little bell touch or the you know the bell on the collar touch so next we have the lelisir de amor furniture set probably butchered that but yeah a box containing nine of the furniture place all the furniture pieces in your residence residence to get extra points so 2500 here are all the, yeah, so these are curtains and floor and wall for it. 100 for the curtains, 250 for the floor and wall. Uh, and then we have the Heidel Masquerade Pack. So this will give you the Heidel Masquerade Outfit Set, Ribbon Cat, Cupid's Balloon, which is an event, Mount Discount Coupon, and All of Me Title. So this is a social action masquerade bow unlocked. Limit one per family, 20% uh, off. So a Heidel Masquerade Outfit Set. This can go on any of the characters, 2,200 pearls. It's available until February 18th. New is the Secret Book of Moon, of Old Moon, 15 days. Um, yeah, 1250 is the normal price. Uh, the Konoichi outfits, we also get the camouflage sets for 3,400 each. Then we have the Kavaro classic set for Tamer and Mystic. And then we have the Animos horse set. So, yeah, uh, a bunch of new stuff added. Obviously, a lot of it has to do with the changes that they made for the Book of uh, Combat getting taken out and uh, Konoichi Awakening. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's going to do it. Longer video. We had a lot to talk about today. I assume it'll be a little bit quicker tomorrow for PlayStation if I even have to do a video at all. Uh, but, yeah, guys, I will catch you guys later today. Remember, check back. We'll have a Konoichi Awakening video on Xbox, and then definitely check back tomorrow. We'll have the start of the Konoichi playthrough on PS4. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.